In this video, I'll show you what to do if your 5G or LTE network is not working properly on your iPhone 15, could be the 15, the 15 Pro Plus or even Pro Max. So what should you do? Well, I'll show you a few solutions. So if the first one doesn't work, just go to the second one and hopefully one of them will solve your problem. So first, the easiest thing what you can do is to force restart your iPhone. This won't delete anything, no apps will be deleted, no pictures, nothing. It will just restart your phone, but will force your iPhone to do so. So to do this, make sure your iPhone is turned on, then press once the volume up button, then once the volume down button, and keep press the power button. Keep it pressed even if you see this appearing on the screen, until the screen is completely shut down. Wait, okay, it's shut down, I can release the power button the iPhone will reset. So you're gonna see the Apple logo here and in about 30, 40 seconds, you'll be able to use it again. Hopefully, after doing this, it will solve, it will solve your problem and you'll have access to your 5G and LTE network. If this didn't work, don't worry, I have a second solution and even more than second solution, I have more solutions. So what you need to do is to activate airplane mode. So drag down from the top right corner and here is airplane mode, the small airplane, tap on it. It will turn to orange, it means that it's activated. And now you're gonna take your SIM eject tool that came in the box with your iPhone. If you forgot where you put it, no problem, take a paper clip or a needle and eject the SIM card. If your iPhone does not have a physical SIM and only has an eSIM, just skip the step I will show you right now and because the second solution will involve eSIM, will involve iPhones with eSIM. So if you have a physical SIM, just eject it, take the tray out. Okay, whoops, don't lose everything. Okay, so this is the slot and we need to clean it because sometimes there is lint or dust that gets accumulated inside and this can make your phone not connect properly to your network. So how to do this? Easy. Just blow in this small um, slot over here while the phone is staying down. So keep it like this, put your mouth over here and blow in this. If you have a small hand pump blower or something like that, go ahead and do it, but make sure that your iPhone is pointing downwards. Another thing you can do is to tap it well, because sometimes, again, dust or bigger debris get stuck inside. Okay, so do this for about 30 seconds. And then before putting your SIM card back inside, okay, take a microfiber like this one, make sure it's clean, and you're gonna put it inside of my, the microfiber, and then you're gonna rub it. Okay, because again, sometimes dust gets stuck on the SIM card itself and this makes it not work properly. So rub it, rub it, rub it, both sides. Okay, and then take it out of there, put it on the SIM card tray, align it like this. Make sure it stays flush because if it's not installed properly, you can get this error again and again, and then insert it on your phone. Okay, now make sure you remove airplane mode and wait about two, three minutes and hopefully you'll get your 5G or LTE network working back. If you have a eSIM card instead, you just need to go into the settings, whoops, go into the settings and then tap cellular and tap delete eSIM, should be a button over here. I don't have one, but if you have one, you're gonna see it here, delete it, and then press add eSIM and do the setup again, because sometimes just removing the eSIM and putting it back can solve this issue. Now, if nothing worked, no problem, I have more solutions for you. Go into the settings, tap cellular, tap over here, cellular data options, and make sure data roaming is turned on. Obviously, this can co come with an additional cost, but sometimes for some carrier, I know it's weird, but you must absolutely have data roaming turned on, although you're not in data roaming, you're still in your local area to make your iPhone work on 5G or LTE. But if you do this, just make sure with your carrier that they won't charge you um, more just because you're data roaming. Just make sure that you're still in your local area. 
but definitely if you turn this on and then your iPhone works on 5G or LTE, this was the problem. Okay, I have two more solutions if nothing worked. The, the next solution is to go into the settings again, this is the normal settings menu, go into general like this, then go down until you see transfer or reset iPhone, tap reset, and then you're going to tap on reset network settings. This will not delete anything. It won't erase your pictures or your Netflix account. It won't do anything like that. It will just reset everything that is network. So your 5G network and also your Wi-Fi network. That's all that will be deleted and you'll have to do it again to uh, connect. So just press reset network settings, wait a few minutes, and then it will try to reconnect to your 5G network and hopefully it will work. Okay, the last thing you can try before giving up, I'm joking, don't give up, is to go back into the main menu like this. Go into general, date and time, and make sure that set automatically is turned on, it's green. Because sometimes when you set it manually, it happened uh, with my Android phones, but also with iPhones, I read that it happens. If you uh, set it manually and it's not the same date and time as your network date and time, the 5G won't work properly. So make sure it's set automatically, make sure the time zone is correct, the correct one. And then after doing this, reset your iPhone the same way I showed you, button um, volume up, down, and then keep the power button. And when your phone will wake up, Hopefully it will work. Now, if any of these uh, solutions didn't work, maybe your SIM card is defective. And the only way you can know if it's defective or not is to take it out from your iPhone and try put it in another phone. So try maybe a family member or a friend that has a phone and ask <laughs> nicely just to take your sim card and try it in their phone if your sim card works on another phone and not on your iphone well it could mean that it's damaged or there's something wrong with it also at the same time ask your friend or family member to put their sim card into your iphone and if the 5g network or lte network is working for them well, again, this is another sign that maybe your uh, SIM card is defective. So you can go to your phone carrier and ask for a new one. Hopefully, one of these solutions will solve your problem. I know it could be very frustrating, but if one of these worked for you, please write a comment down below. If you have other solutions that I forgot or didn't talk about, again, write them in the comment down below. If uh, I see that many people like this solution and it works, I'll make a new video about it. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.